Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play the Master Levels for Doom 2. I'm Ultima Mantoid. This one is going to be Virgil's Lead, which is done by John Anderson, also known as Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep is known mostly for his Inferno series of maps, which are based on Dante Alighieri's uh, Inferno. It was a nine map episode, <clears throat> and the story of that was supposed to parallel the Divine Comedy. There were nine cantos, and they were as follows. The first canto is Dante's Gate. The second canto is Crossing Acheron. The third canto is Virgil's Lead, which is the one we're playing today. The fourth canto is Minos's Judgment. The fifth canto is Nessus. The sixth canto is Gurion. The seventh canto is Vesperus. The eighth canto is Chiron, which, interesting note, Chiron became Episode 4, Mission 7 of Ultimate Doom, called And Hell Followed. And the ninth canto is The Waters of Leith, which was unreleased and is still to this day unreleased. So, I want to point out that he has a very particular mapping style. There's lots of boxes and lots of circles, which is not a bad thing, it's a very distinctive style, but you will start seeing it prevalent through his map work. Each one of these cantos, or at least the first five, had story. And since not all of them had story, I'm going to just read one part of the story that, uh, like, per map that I do of his, so that way you get the whole story that was there. Uh, so, with Virgil's lead, in your search for Beatrice, you lost your guide, Virgil, the beatnik space poet, while crossing Acheron. But you've caught up with him again, and he's agreed to lead you through the current way station, mostly because... Demons and undead sergeants are not much impressed with Virgil's way with words. And then there's some text under it that says, You can get a lot further with a kind word and a gun than you can with a kind word. You belong to the NRA, don't you? Virgil asks. No, I'm just a pessimistic pacifist. And, yeah, there's some more information about Mr. Anderson that I will be reading about in the following videos. But for now, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so this is the first one of the master levels that is not taking place on map one. Fancy that. So we're halfway through with the master levels and only just now not using map one. That should tell you something. Not like it's a bad thing or anything. Map one's the easiest thing to map out because you don't. Well, it's like it saves you five seconds of mapping time. Why not? The ammo usage in this map is very tight. So make sure all your shots count, unlike that one. Let's just pistol whip you. I'm gonna leave that guy in the hole there. Or, I'll just leave him in there to kill what, like, deal with later. Yeah, this back here, it's not a secret, but... Okay, no, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck the fires on your head, fuck the fucking horns on the side of your head, fuck your teeth, fuck your eyeballs, and fuck your explosion. This is doom and you don't belong. I know, I've not really talked much about where you're going in this map, but that's okay. Just follow along with me and you will know where to go. This area is the start of where you kind of need to pay attention. Come down this hall, or just fire at the human and... Yeah. Uh, I think they're stuck. Oh, geez. That could have ended badly. Just when I thought you guys were stuck under the floor there. Now, right here is, I think, the only secret in the map. Make sure to press that switch. And when you come back around, get in this paint elemental's face. Now, I don't like picking up that particular blur artifact. Trying to remember where to go. 
Oh, right, yeah, I have the yellow key. You just come back in here. It's not a very complicated map. I just need to not be an idiot or something. We got the map for the level now. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear key clicks. There's nothing I can do about that now. Get fucked. Yeah, do be careful. This guy will be here. Now that this opens up. You want to just do like you did the starting area because it looks very familiar. You know, let's punch some fools. There we go. And now we've come back out where we were. So that's the start over there. This you cannot go into until you teleport in there, so... get that chain gun out, because uh, this is a good place to use it. I find it to be a better weapon to use in this round area, or at least around the outside. And of course, this door just comes through here, so. Walking near those bars will raise them up. Now, this is an important thing to note. None of these switches do anything but lower this, except one. You see that door there? It will not open. But what I'm going to try and do... Yeah, that's the only one that does anything, to my knowledge. We are in the final area. This is a pretty good map. Oh, wow. I got all three of them. There is a pain elemental here, and you want to try and get in his face so he can't spit any lost souls. Because fuck lost souls. Just fuck them. Oh, he's in fighting. I'm okay with this. We'll just go pick up ammo. Plasma's important. Uh, we'll go up this way. It doesn't matter which side you go up. But, you want to be careful because the Mancubi can just be all like, Fuck you, I'm an asshole. Run in, run back out. You've got... You should have some rockets at this point. And I do believe that that's all of the enemies. So we're going to run into the exit. Like I said, this map, it's good. You're going to notice a, an architectural pattern with Dr. Sleep's mapping. He'll usually have some sort of boxed hallway that connects, or a ser series of boxed hallways that connects another round or box-like area to another one. Excuse me, to another one. That's just his mapping style. And that's not a bad thing, especially if you have a consistent mapping style. But the way he did it, it allowed him enough variation to still keep his maps unique in a way, which is a rather intriguing map style. But as far as this one goes, it's pretty easy. It's a great foot in the door to the rest of this. Like, I mean, if you're playing them in sequence, I mean, you did get past Trapped on Titan right before this, so this is going to be a breeze at that point. But this is a good one, especially if you want to play Dr. Sleep's work. This is a good one to get used to his sort of mapping style and the way he does things. But with that, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is a Let's Play the Master Levels for Doom 2. Till next time, take care and have fun.